My name is Joel Teitelbaum. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Health Policy and Management. I'm also an associate professor by courtesy at the GW Law School. I'm the director of the Hirsch Health Law and Policy Program and the co-director of the National Center for Medical Legal Partnership. I got my start in public health through somewhat of a backdoor, so I have no formal training in public health, but rather I'm trained as a health lawyer, and it was during my training uh, as a health lawyer, both in my JD program and my LLM program, that I learned about public health and what it was. And so a lot of my actual understanding of public health comes from a lot of reading that I have done and from my students uh, themselves because they are the ones that are more formally trained in public health. So I teach law in a public health or healthcare context. What makes a truly great public health student for me is someone who is passionate about public health, obviously, someone who can think outside of the box and someone who is a very good problem solver and can work well with not just other public health professionals and students, but other people who have a role in creating uh, an environment in which the, the public health or populations can be as healthy as possible. If I could give my former self uh, advice as a first day graduate student, I would tell myself to make sure that I get to know at least two or three professors very, very well because it's much easier to learn the deep knowledge that they have if you know them outside of the classroom and they can also serve as wonderful resources when you go out into the world. Uh, Sarah Rosenbaum, who was my health law professor in the LLM program here, really took me under her wing and so to be able to learn closely from her was really a wonderful thing and so it's that kind of interaction with your professors that I think can lead to something great. Um, what I think is most promising in the field right now in public health, health policy, and health law is first the movement toward thinking about social determinants of health as really impacting individual and population health in a way that we hadn't before. Um, basically 60% of individual and population health are determined by things other than medical care and we're really starting to focus on that now. And the second thing that I think is really interesting and promising is the focus on moving toward a system of health equity and treating people um, equitably through in health insurance coverage and medical care and um, supplementing their needs beyond pure medical assistance. My area of research is really around the role of law as a social determinant of health and as a tool that we can use to create healthier environments. There are so many causes of poor health that don't have much to do with direct medical care access. Right now I'm the co-director of the National Center for Medical Legal Partnership, which aims to pair civil legal aid lawyers with healthcare partners, either hospitals or community health centers, to allow the two professions to work together to address some of the underlying social causes of poor health, like insufficient housing, domestic violence, immigration status, and the like. My favorite thing about DC is that it is very small, both in terms of its landmass and its population, but it has the culture, the diversity, and the intellectualism of a large cosmopolitan city. In my free time, I enjoy uh, playing volleyball with my daughter, going biking with my son, traveling to exotic locations with my wife without the kids, uh, playing the electric guitar, which I'm learning right now, and also I taught myself to be an abstract painter. I'm Joel Teitelbaum, and I look forward to seeing hopefully many of you on campus in the near future, but whatever you choose to do, good luck in your career, and I hope to we cross paths in the public health field.